what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overload here so we're mostly going to be talking about chucky season three in this video here today but before i get into what i want to talk about with chucky season three i want to firstly get this beetlejuice 2 stuff out of the way because variety confirmed the details that i had shared about willem willem defoe's role in the upcoming sequel to the hit classic uh well defoe himself confirmed these details to be honest he said this to Variety in an interview. He said, I haven't seen any footage yet, but it was fun to do. Uh, he said, I play a police officer in the afterlife. Those of you who follow me on Twitter and have watched my previous Beetlejuice video, you know that lines up with what I was telling you. He says, I play a, a police officer in the afterlife, so I'm a dead person. And in life, I was a B-movie action star. For those of you, again, watch my video and follow my tweets. I've been saying he plays an actor. He says, but I had an accident and that's what sent me to the other side. So as a refresher, here's more details on Defoe's role and what sent him to the other side since he's admitting to an accident that occurred. He plays Wolf Jackson. Wolf Jackson starred in the Hardballer franchise, I think is the name of the franchise, during the 70s. He played the character Fred Hardballer for six movies before dying on set during the filming of a reboot from a live grenade accident. He says it was not supposed to be a live grenade, just for the record. Now, that is what is happening with Willem Dafoe in Beetlejuice 2. That is the update I wanted to address before I teetered off into discussing Chucky Season 3. So let's get right on into it. It looks like Collins will have a new press secretary in Chucky Season 3 Part 2. Because as you see here, this clearly is not Mel Melanie Spiegel. Shout out to the Reddit user who shared this a few hours ago. I just didn't want this post to go ignored because I haven't seen a lot of attention on it. So this, of course, does not mean that Mel Melanie is dying, but it's Chucky. So chances are she's going to die and be added to the body count next season. Well, not next season, but during the second half of the current season we're in. Now, this could, could again be what sparks a new press secretary to take over. Granted, she could always just depart from the current administration, that is the Collins, due to her own personal reasons. But we'll just have to wait and see. Filming, filming we know has resumed out in Canada. I don't know exactly when this photo was taken because I don't believe it is recent, but my best bet would be back during when they were shooting the first half. And this is a behind the scenes image of what was shot after those first four episodes. But my bet is on Melanie biting the dust in the second part of season three. If you missed my video from yesterday, here's what you can expect related to the conclusion of Chucky season three. Now, this is all allegedly because it could, of course, not end up being true. But what I've heard is that season three is going to end in a much less open ended way that season one and two ended. So this was shared with me a few days ago, but it also makes me more confident that season four is unlikely. It does not mean that season four won't happen, but season one and two definitely ended on cliffhangers to set up the events going into their respective next seasons. Season one again ended with the Tiffany doll meeting Chucky or not meeting Chucky, but meeting Andy driving away with the truck of Chucky dolls. Uh, season two ended with Chucky in drag, as Tiffany puts it during season three, taunting Tiffany in her New York apartment or wherever she was staying with Caroline. And now season three allegedly is not going to be doing that. It has a more definitive conclusion. And I imagine it's obviously connected to Chucky's aging and the sudden death or the looming death that he's having to face in the upcoming second half of the season. But you guys can let me know what you think about all of this down in the comment section below. Do you think Chucky will die? Do you think that the that the season will actually end up being conclusive and not open ended like the first two? And if it is open ended, what type of open ended conclusion would you like to see uh well I, mean, I meant to say if it's definitive what type of definitive end would you like to see based off of where we're going with the current story if chucky is going to have to face death at the end of this season how would you like to see chucky die i would like you guys to share that down in the comment section below how would you like to see chucky die we've seen him die a plethora of ways but if this is like a definitive death how would you like to see the best killer doll in the history of horror go out if this is the end for him for the tv era because i imagine he would just be revived for an inevitable chucky versus megan film and i will say i i just sincerely do not think we're going to get season four i know don mancini has talked about having plans for it if it happens it happens it, it's hollywood but the problem i'm now thinking about is how we suddenly got this reworked Scream 7 and how that could easily lend itself to the unpredictability of where we're at in Hollywood and even IPs like Chucky 
are not safe. Chucky season four, again, it could still happen, but I think it's going to be the end of the show with season three. Let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you subscribe, turn on post notifications, so you can never miss a video. In the description, I'll have links to all my social media accounts. I am on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course. Let me know if there are any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.